Reverse Diet, week two, day two. Uh, so I had an awesome uh, beast up leg workout this morning. Uh, it's like five days in a row now, maybe six days where I just felt awesome in my workouts. Like I didn't feel like, like I did the past four to six weeks where it's just like survival. Like I literally was just like, let's just get through this workout without smashing my face or hurting myself. Um, towards the last few weeks of the prep, I wasn't even looking forward to working out. And now the past few days, I actually wake up and I'm like, yes, I get to work out. I get to lift heavy weights. I get to focus on really squeezing the muscles and um, doing everything possible to stimulate that muscle growth. Um, so I, I think just I'm starting to get my mindset back to where it was prior uh, to the tail end of the prep with my workouts. So that's very encouraging. Um, been a little bit hungrier today. Uh, I might throw in more meat today just just because to, to again, try to get more protein synthesis, uh, suppress my appetite a little bit. Um, that's one thing I've played around with now for a little over a week is uh, there have been a couple days where it's like, man, I'm really ravenous, really hungry, and I'll just eat a bunch of cheese, a bunch of meat that day. Um, my weight's still hovering pretty much right around 149, where it was uh, at the tail end of uh, last week. Um, I did put on like six pounds, six to seven pounds over the course of that week. But as I said at the uh, the wrap up of my first week, a lot of that was muscle glycogen, some water retention. Um, it's not purely fats. Like for people who are just starting off losing weight, I recommend weigh yourself once a week. Don't weigh yourself daily because your weight's going to fluctuate. And then people look at the scale as like it's the end all be all. Like over the course of a couple weeks, you'll lose 10 pounds. And you're like, yes. Well, let's say eight of those 10 pounds is muscle. That's not good because your muscle will drive your metabolism. The more muscle mass you have, the more your metabolism is going to rev up because muscle requires a lot of uh, metabolic energy, whereas fat doesn't. So um, you want to make sure that the weight you are losing is fat. And if you get DEXA scans, you can see if it's fat or if it's lean tissue that you're losing. With that being said, when you are trying to revamp your diet and live a healthier lifestyle to lose some weight, um, that's a great start. And I would encourage you to do that for the first two to four weeks. After that period, you're going to want to start to add some type of exercise regimen or routine. Um, walking first thing in the morning on a fasted stomach is great for burning some fat and getting those fatty acids mobilized. Um, you could wake up have a cup of coffee, go for a walk as caffeine will start to mobilize the fats, and then walking will then allow you to burn those fats. Um, you want to implement some type of resistance training. Um, and if you train in a fasted state, that's great because you're going to be stimulating the muscles. That's going to tell your body that, hey, this muscle tissue that I'm using right now to do, let's say, bicep curls, for instance, we cannot burn that muscle tissue because it's being used right now. Oh, let's burn the fat. So then your body will start to utilize the fat instead of your muscle tissue. Um, so those are the first two things I'd recommend. Number one, revamp the diet. Get rid of all the processed foods, the ultra-processed foods, and just eat whole foods, foods that grow out of the earth. Uh, do that for two to four weeks. Drink plenty of water also. And then after that, you can start some type of workout routine, um, low intensity routine, like walking or just going for a really nice leisurely bike ride. Things like that that are going to be nice and easy on your joints um, and that'll motivate you and things that will like that you enjoy doing. Um, so that's my little tip for those of you that are trying to start to lose weight and get in that healthy lifestyle kick. So, well, please keep it locked in here on my channel and like and subscribe and continue to follow along with me as I go through this reverse diet following my ketogenic bodybuilding prep. I'll see you all tomorrow.